Hello, guys. When you encrypt your file, maybe PDF file or Word file or any kind of file, try to use a strong password. I'm going to show you in this video what hackers do, the, the kind of code that they use so that they can be able to decrypt, so that they can be able to reveal the password of your file. It can be a PDF file or any kind of file. So in this video, I'm going to be using a PDF file through John the Reaper. Okay. I'm not going to be showing you how to how to install John the Reaper because if I show you how to install John the Reaper, it's going to be a long video. I'm just going to show you the tricks that hackers use using John the Reaper to decrypt your file. So the first thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing um, CD John. So this is I'm assessing John. Now I'm going to run John. I'm going to do CD run. Now I'm running John, I'm going to do LS to show you how everything, what John can do. So right now, I want to decrypt a PDF file. So I'm going to use PDF to John.pl. So I'm going to copy. OK, I have to copy and I'm going to do dot slash. So then I'm going to paste. Okay, now everything is okay. The code is not over. So right now I'm going to do a slash. Then after I'm going to go into the parent folder of the archive download decrypt. So let's go now. So the parent folder of the archive download decrypt is in home. And I have it in my college files. So this is the archive, it's called Factura Cloud. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to properties, so then I'm going to copy the parent folder. Copy, I'm going to go back to my terminal. I'm going to erase this slash because I've already copied the slash there. So then I'm going to paste. So now I have the print folder of the archive. So um, the code is not over. I'm going to do another slash. Then I'm going to write the name of the archive. If you like, you can write, but I prefer to copy so I won't make any mistake. So I'm going to go back to the where the archive is. So I'm going to copy the name, factoracloud.pdf. So I'm going to copy, go back to my terminal, then I'm going to paste. The, PM, the code is not over, so I'm going to connect. So because um, after connecting, um, John is going to release uh, a file where and then where we have the, the code, the password of the archive. So I'm going to connect. So after connect name, I'm still writing the code of the connection, slash. Then I'm going to copy actually the parent folder again where the archive is. Copy. This. Now I'm gonna write I'm gonna write the name for the file that John the Reaper is gonna release for me where I will have the password of the archive. So I'm gonna call it password dot txt. So let me just check if everything is okay. So have this Okay, okay, okay. Uh, can you see we have our two slash here? If I had executed the, the code, I would have had an error. So let me check in. Mm -hmm. I think everything is okay now. 
So now I'm gonna execute the, the code. So I'm gonna execute code here. The code is properly executed. John the Reaper is gonna give me the password of the archive. So I'm gonna go enter. Very good. So the code is properly executed. So I'm gonna go back to the spirit folder see if I'm going to find password.txt archive. So I'm going to go now. Okay, let me close this. Good. I have password.txt archive. So when I open this archive, I have to find my password in there. So I'm going to open it. Oh, so we have a lot of jargons here. This is actually the, the, the password of the, as you can see, root, Calify, Fatura Claro. This is actually the password of Fatura Claro that I want to decrypt. But unfortunately, John the Reaper has also decrypted the, the, the password. So I have to decrypt the password. So this is where I'm going to go now. So I'm going to push. So I'm going to draw the password, I'm going to draw it to home, so that I'll be able to decrypt it. Okay, I'm going to go back to my terminal. So I'm going to run CD to be able to go back to the root, where my password.txt is. So now I'm going to do John format. equal PDF and the name of the the archive is password dot txt so I'm gonna do enter so look at what it's telling me using the fourth input encoded UTF-8 loaded one password hash PDF no password hash is left to crack you know why since I have already cracked, I have already cracked this archive before. So, so it's not going to show me using this code. It's not going to show me this password. I have to if I if I haven't if I hadn't cracked this archive before, using this code is going to show me the password. Since I have already cracked this before, so it's not going to show me the code. I have to use another code. So I have to use John. I have to tell John to show me the password because I have cracked the password before. So I'm telling I'm gonna write the code for John to tell me the password, to show me the password. Use John, okay, show password dot TST. Okay, can you see? So this is the password. We have the password here, root, Kali files, Fatura Claro. So the password is here, 23509. So this is what I'm telling you. As you can see, John, John actually cracked the password in seconds. You know? Why? Because the password is very, very weak, 23509. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. When you want to encrypt your file, try to use a very, very strong password. Okay, so this is what I have for you today. Thank you very, very much.